Hello, Pokemon fans! My name is Leader Fuzzy, and I am extremely excited for Pokemon Sun and Moon. This game looks like it's going to be the most unique Pokemon adventure yet. With its wide variety of Pokemon, new forms, and new take on gym battles, I cannot wait to get my hands on this game and start my adventure this fall. Speaking of new Pokemon, have you seen the newest members of Alola? If not, this video will contain spoilers. So if you don't want to see them, I advise you turn back now. Of all the newest Pokemon revealed in this video, one specifically stuck out to me. Pukumuku, the sea cucumber Pokemon. Now, I'm not sure if you know me, but marine animals fascinate me to no end, and the sea cucumber is no exception. So naturally, I wanted to find the order that Pukumuku is based on. And I think I've found it, the Holothoria edilis, also known as the edible sea cucumber. Not only does the sea cucumber share similar colors with Pukumuku, but its well-known defense mechanism and feeding technique just give it away. Holothuria edilis is also found around Malaysia, which explains why they may have used it for inspiration. Plus, let's be honest, their colors are amazing. There are two attributes I've used to narrow down Pukumuku's origin. Its strange hand that it uses to comically faint and surprise trainers, and of course, its ability. Let's start with the former. That strange hand that you see in the trailer is what sea cucumbers use to feed. Their feeding tentacles extend outwards and wait for food like plankton to come to them. This is known as suspension feeding, and it explains why Pukumuku doesn't like to move. It's not lazy, it's just resourceful. And it's not a fist, as funny as that is. Holothuria edilis also has the ability to extend its feeding tentacles to mop up nutrients from the sea floor albeit much less prominently than other classes of the sea cucumber. The other attribute I've used to narrow down this little guy is its ability. Pukumuku's innards out does damage to the opponent upon death, and works very similarly to Aftermath, from the looks of it. But its name seems a tad morbid. I thought this was a kid's game, jeez. While well, turns out that sea cucumbers do have the ability to exude certain organs to use as a defense mechanism. And don't worry, it's not as disgusting as it sounds. These organs, which are called Cuvarian tubules, expand as they are expelled, are very sticky and in some cases, venomous. Which explains why Innards Out does damage, but I feel like it should poison too. But hey, I can't complain. We already have a sea cucumber Pokemon. They also take around 2-5 to five weeks to regenerate, so that could explain why Innards Out isn't a normal move. Only sea cucumbers of the order Aspido Chirotita can use this technique. And guess who falls under that category? Yep, Holothuria edilis otherwise known as the real-life Pukumuku. All we need now is a Mantis Strip and a Cuttlefish Pokemon, and I'll be set for life. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something about sea cucumbers. I know I did. If you want to see more of my videos, check out my Let's Play channel, Brohive. I play a ton of fun games with friends, and it's always a blast. I love it when people watch our videos, and subscribing would really help. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.